No, you can't be right. That that must be a typo. HP. HP is in the laptops. Hewlett Packard. They're making OTC hearing aids now too. I have got to make a video on this. Hey guys, it's Matthew here from Hearing Tracker, keeping you up to date with all new hearing aid technology. We've just had the first announcement that New Hearer, the Australian-based hearing tech solutions company, have teamed up with Hewlett Packard, better known as HP, and have released their first official OTC hearing aid called the HP Hearing Pro OTC Hearing Aid. Keep watching to see exactly what they've got in store for us. If you're keen on keeping up to date with the latest news in the hearing technology world, then make sure that you subscribe to this channel, press that grey notifications bell, and you'll be updated every time we release a new video. Firstly, we saw the collaboration between Phonak, the Swiss-based hearing aid manufacturers, and Sennheiser. Then we saw Bose teaming up with Lexi, and finally, more recently, WS Audiology, the Danish-based hearing aid manufacturers, and Sony, Japan's technology giants, have joined forces. Now we can add another iconic collaboration with New Hearer and Hewlett Packard joining the race to make the best OTC hearing aid. New Hearer and HP initially announced their relationship in April 2022, ready and waiting in the sidelines for the announcement on October 17th for the FDA's go ahead for OTC hearing aid technology. I imagine that most of you out there already know Hewlett Packard. Founded 83 years ago in 1939, the California-based tech company are best known for their computer technology and are a well-known household name, which makes them perfect partners for New Hera, the lesser known of the two brands. Over at Hearing Tracker HQ, we predicted that following on from the US's FDA announcement for over-the-counter hearing aids, there would be an abundance of tech companies releasing direct-to-consumer OTC hearing aids. Now, what we're actually seeing is existing companies that have dabbled with hearables in recent years, such as those that I listed earlier, teaming up with well-established tech giants who already have well-developed routes to market and very strong branding. And Hewlett Packard definitely have this. But the question is, who exactly are New Hearer? Based in Perth, Australia, New Hearer are aiming to take the US by storm and transform the way that people hear by creating personalized hearing solutions that are multifunctional, accessible, and affordable. In 2016, they launched their first wireless earbuds, the IQ Buds. These were followed in 2018 by their second generation product, IQ Buds Boost, which included EarID, which is a personalization system that enables calibration to a user's specific hearing profile. And then finally, in 2020, we saw New Hearer's third generation product, the IQ Buds Squared Max. So the next big exciting question is, what exciting things do they have in store for us with the new HP Hearing Pro OTC hearing aid? Coming in at $699, these OTC devices will be available from Best Buy, Crutchfield, Amazon, and hphearingpro.com. And I'll add a link to purchase these OTC hearing aids in the description beneath this video. The price point is pretty much in the middle of the road compared to other OTC devices, which we've seen so far ranging from $199 to $2,500. Now, New Hearer are claiming that these devices look nothing like a traditional hearing aid, which I'm going to have to ignore that statement whilst we take a look at the latest range of identical looking traditional hearing aids from other hearing aid manufacturers out there at the moment. However, there is no question that they do look pretty cool. And this is one of the things that excites me the most about any new hearing aid technology that we're currently seeing, not just these new OTC hearing aids. If this results in a better adoption of hearing aids and gives us a way of getting the millions of people that suffer with a hearing loss globally and don't do anything about it to finally manage their hearing loss, then I would be a very happy man. They're sporting twin microphones to support better hearing and background noise and are claiming that this will lead to an increase of 30% improvement in speech in noise. Although I can't find anywhere what that 30% is an improvement from. They're using the industry standard lithium ion rechargeable technology and the storage case itself also comes with a built-in battery. So when they're not in your ears, they'll be charging even when you're on the go. Using the HP Hearing mobile app, which is compatible with both iOS and Android, the user will self-fit these devices without the need for any audiologist intervention. This is all done using their Ear ID setup process, and New Hearer are claiming that they're clinically proven to be substantially equivalent to a professionally fitted hearing aid. 
The proprietary Ear ID software allows the user to test their individual hearing thresholds from low frequencies to high frequencies in each ear, and then automatically programs the devices themselves. This fitting process is supposed to take between 10 to 15 minutes from the moment you open the box to the hearing aids being ready and programmed and working in your ears. After the setup process is complete, the app itself then provides the user with some basic controls to adjust the settings, such as a volume control and switching over to a very specific and new directional microphone feature called Focus. Now, as well as working as an OTC hearing device to enhance your hearing, they also stream phone calls and media, such as the radio, music, or podcasts, directly from your phone to your hearing aids, which is already one step ahead of the likes of the Sony CREC10 and the new Lexi powered by Bose B2 OTC hearing aid. I believe that the main reason that they can do this over other OTC tech is basically due to the size of them though. So at the moment, anybody interested in OTC device will have to make a decision between discretion or functionality. And the more discreet the OTC hearing aid, the less functionality will be available in there. As is true for all OTC devices, these are designed for those with a mild to moderate hearing loss. Something that I do think that users should be aware of, which no OTC hearing aid manufacturer has covered in any of their paraphernalia, is something called the occlusion effect. Typically, with an age-related hearing loss, the hearing is better in the low tones versus the high tones. This means that if an in-ear hearing aid or earbud style of hearing aid is worn, the user will feel that they've got their fingers stuck in their ears. And therefore, there's a bit of danger that all earbud style OTC devices that have been released will feel exactly the same. Whether OTC hearing aid manufacturers in general have omitted this information as an oversight, perhaps naivety, or even confidence that they features in place to be able to overcome this well-researched and known about phenomenon, I would love to know what's in place to prevent it from happening. So if you work for New Hearer or HP, then feel free to reach out or drop me a note in the comments to update me on how you've managed to overcome the occlusion effect. I'd be very interested in sharing it with everybody watching this video today. So I will say that I'm pretty excited that we've got some bold claims coming from HP and New Hearer, just like we did with the new Sony OTC Hearing Ace 2, and I just hope that they do hold up. I would love to know what you guys watching think about these new hearing aids. Would you pay this amount of money without audiological support? Drop me a note in the comments beneath this video. And anyone watching from HP or New Hero, I would love to get your thoughts on my previous questions posed in this video. I hope that you found this video useful, guys. Make sure that you subscribe to be notified when I have these OTC hearing aids in my hands and give them a full review. And if you like this video, go ahead and press like. If you have any questions or comments, drop them beneath this video and I'll get back to you as soon as possible. I'll see you in the next video.